Greetings, everybody. My name is John Campy here with my quick review of the new film Chronicle. Now, if you've seen the trailers for it at all, you already know that Chronicle is a story about these three teenage guys who happen to stumble into a hole only to emerge with superhuman telekinetic powers, something that, of course, happens almost every other day around here. Uh, now, I have to admit, I, I went to see the film on the Fox lot the other day, and I went in kind of skeptical. And I went in about skeptical about a few things. Number one, it's a movie about a couple of kids who fall into a hole and come out with telekinetic powers. Uh, number two, it seemed to be one of these crossing social barriers, you know, between cool kids and nerds movies, which very rarely work for me. And third, it was yet another found footage movie. One of those movies where, oh, this is a movie shot from a camera held by somebody, uh, you know, and I'm tired of those, quite frankly. I think most people are tired of those. But I'm going to tell you right now, I came out of Chronicle having loved it. I loved Chronicle. Let me run down a few of the good things here that I really liked about Chronicle. Number one, the, the, I mentioned that I was skeptical about the found footage f format. It works. They found a way, They w the way that director Josh Trank merged the found footage together, it felt believable. It felt real. It felt like a real found footage film. And, and it comes, it never once felt really forced to me. It felt legit. And, and the devices he used to make the excuses for it being found footage absolutely works for me. So it really works as a found footage format. Also, they the way, and this mostly goes towards the performances in the film by actors like Dane DeHaan, Alex Rushlow, and uh, Michael B. Jordan, the three main characters. They really did convince me of cool kids suddenly hanging out with the nerdy kid and those social barriers being crossed. It The performances in this film, under the direction of Trank, made me believe it, so it worked really well. Uh, one of the things I absolutely love about this film is that it doesn't feel the need to over-explain things that aren't important to the narrative as we, the audience, understand it. We know they fall into a hole and they come across something and then suddenly they emerge, this is a little bit of a spoiler, they emerge with powers. We have no idea how they got them, we don't know what happened in between them stumbling into the hole and suddenly having powers. But you quickly realize it, that's not important because that's not the point of this narrative. So for the purposes of this movie, it's not important so they don't waste time on it. They just skip right ahead. And I love the fact that Josh Trank has this understanding that you don't need to explain everything to the audience. There are some things that can be a mystery and you can leave it at that. And they did that really, really well. Um, the visual effects in this film are spectacular. There are a couple of moments where I'm sitting back and go, okay, that looks fake. But for the most part, that's minimal. And you got to understand, this isn't Star Wars, where everything is supposed, your mind knows this is all just sci-fi and make-believe. This is supposed to be in the real world, used with found footage. So what your eye sees has to absolutely be convinced that it's real. And for me personally, the visual effects convinced my eye that what I was seeing was indeed real. Terrific job with the visual effects. Um, it, it, to me, one of the things, when you look back at the overarching theme of it, the movie really feels to me like an origin story for a supervillain. Um, and, and it's done very well. It's done in a very classic sense. It's, it's a classic comic book, although this is not a comic book movie, but it's a classic comic book supervillain origin story in many ways that I really ate up. One of the things that this movie really emphasizes is that it's not a comic book movie. You might think teenagers getting superpowers is going to be a superhero movie. I actually interviewed the director uh, a couple of days ago, and one of the things he said to me is like, look, if this was going to be real, and a couple of teenage guys, average teenage guys, suddenly came across and had some kind of superhuman powers, they wouldn't use it to go out and fight crime. They used it to mess with people. And, and, I, and that, that, that was perfect. That was a perfect explanation for how this would really work. And that kind of really feels it out in, in that sense. If you're going to have a found footage movie, it's got to feel real. This played off incredibly well. A couple of bad things about the film. Number one, as in many films, there was this really pointless side love story between Alex Russell and uh, Ashley Hinshaw um, in, in the movie that didn't need to be there. Whenever they cut away, not nothing against Alex's performances or Ashley's performance, but whenever it went to them, it felt pointless to the narrative. You know how I mentioned earlier that they didn't tell us what happens in between them falling in the hole and suddenly having the powers because that's not important. They didn't need to waste time on it. This side little romantic relationship uh, between the Matt character and the Casey character 
was pointless. It, it served no real purpose to the driving narrative. It, it, it should have been cut out. Also, one of the main characters, one of the main storylines of the film is the fact that uh, the Andrew character, played brilliantly by Dane DeHaan, uh, was, uh, he had an abusive father. And unfortunately, the film really doesn't show any layers to this father. It's just, he's, he's the big bad wolf. He's just bad and mean and drunk. <laughs> like just constantly, there was completely flat one-dimensional character and I would have liked to have seen a little bit more life into that character you wouldn't have needed to spend any more screen time on and just a little bit more life um, overall though the performances in this film uh, Dane DeHaan uh, Alex Russell uh, Michael B. Jordan are spectacular they carry this film brilliantly directed a very clever script this is a found footage movie that to me despite all the spectacular and unbelievable things going on felt very real which is key I really enjoyed this film. Overall, I'm going to give Chronicle an 8 out of 10. Thanks for joining me. My name is John Campia, and until next time, bye-bye.